Hi, scientists. I'm Maya, here with my friend Bud. What are we learning about today, Bud? Today, we are talking about our solar system. That's right. We'll get to know all the planets that revolve around our sun. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Scientists, get your notebooks out and ready to take notes. We'll be starting with the basics of solar systems and overall characteristics about the one Earth is a part of. Let's start with what a solar system is. As you might be able to guess from the name, a solar system is a star in all the objects that travel around it. Planets, moons, asteroids, comets, and meteoroids are all a part of a solar system. Since there are billions of stars in our universe, there must be billions of solar systems, right? Exactly! There are more solar systems in our universe than we could ever discover. Some solar systems even have more than one star. Let's look more at the solar system we are a part of, though. What do you know about our solar system, bud? Our solar system is a part of the Milky Way galaxy. There are eight planets that all revolve around our sun. They all have different sized orbits. Some are close to the sun, and some are very far away. That's right! Our solar system is located in the outer spiral arm of the Milky Way galaxy. Within our solar system, each planet is revolving around the sun at different speeds and different distances from the sun. As the planets are revolving, they are also rotating on their axis. So they are spinning as they move around the sun. A planet's day is how long it takes to fully rotate once. For Earth, it's 24 hours. A planet's year is how long it takes to fully revolve around the sun. For Earth, it's 365 days. So each planet has a different length, day, and year? Cool! Now let's look more specifically at planets. In order to be a planet, there are three characteristics it must have. It must orbit a star, it must be big enough to have enough gravity to pull it into a spherical shape, and it must be big enough that its gravity cleared away any other objects of a similar size near its orbit around the star. Beyond these three similar characteristics, some of these planets look very different from each other. We typically break the eight planets into two categories, rocky planets and gas giants. We'll talk more about each of those, but first, let's pause to give our scientists a chance to take notes on solar systems, our solar system, and planets. Press play again when you're ready. Let's start with the rocky planets. Get your notebooks ready to take notes on the four rocky planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. What do we know about Mercury, bud? It's the closest planet to the sun, and it's the smallest planet. Correct! It's actually only slightly larger than the Earth's moon. Because it's so close to the sun, the sun appears two and a half times larger on Mercury than it does on Earth, and the sunlight is at least seven times brighter. Wow, you'd really need the sunglasses on Mercury. <laughs> you sure would. But temperatures in the daytime can reach 800 degrees Fahrenheit, and at night can drop down to 290 degrees Fahrenheit. So the bright sun would be the least of the problems for humans. Since it's so close to the sun, it probably has a short year. Is that true? It is. It's the fastest moving planet. A year on Mercury is only 88 Earth days. However, it doesn't rotate as quickly. A day on Mercury lasts 59 Earth days. The surface is solid, rocky, and cratered, similar to our moon. It doesn't have any moons itself, though. The atmosphere is mostly made up of oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium, and potassium. It has a very elliptical orbit, like a flattened circle and is only very slightly tilted on its axis, so it doesn't have seasons. Wow, what about Venus? Venus is the second planet from the Sun and Earth's closest neighbor. Venus spins slowly and actually rotates in the opposite direction. So the Sun rises in the west and sets in the east. Its orbit is almost circular and, similar to Mercury, Venus doesn't have much of a tilt. One day on Venus is 243 Earth days, while one year is 225 Earth days. Wait, one year is longer than one day on Venus? Yes, it takes Venus longer to rotate on its axis once than it does to orbit around the sun. That's interesting. Venus is a similar size as Earth, and the surface is solid, with many volcanoes and plateaus, or high flat ground. 
It has a very thick atmosphere of mostly carbon dioxide, which traps in heat with the greenhouse effect. So it's the hottest planet. The temperature on the surface can reach 880 degrees Fahrenheit. Before it became this hot though, scientists think it might have had shallow liquid water on it and might have even had more livable surface temperatures. It's changed a lot over billions of years. It sure has. Now, let's look at Earth. Oh, I know this one. We are the third planet from the sun and the only planet in our solar system to have known living things. One day is 24 hours and one year is 365 days. We are the third smallest planet. If the sun is the size of a basketball, Earth is the size of a grain of sand. Great job. Now how about Mars? You taught me about this one too. Mars is the fourth planet and about half the size of Earth. You got it. Scientists, if you want to know more about Mars, check out my trip to the red planet. Now, pause and take notes on the four rocky planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Press play again when you're ready. Let's study our gas giants now. Get your notebooks ready to take notes on Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Since these are called gas giants, does this mean they don't have a solid surface like the other planets? Exactly. None of these planets have a solid surface like Earth. Some may have a small, solid inner core, but because they're so far away, there's still a lot we don't know about some of these planets. Well, what do we know about them? Let's continue with the fifth planet from the Sun, Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. It's twice as massive as all the other planets in our solar system combined. Eleven Earths could fit across the equator of Jupiter. Jupiter is huge! Or another way to think about it is if we imagine the Sun is the size of a basketball, Jupiter would be the size of a grape, but Earth would be the size of a grain of sand. Because it's so big, it has a very powerful gravitational pull. Its gravity is two and a half times stronger than Earth's. It's made up of mostly hydrogen and helium. One day on Jupiter is about 10 hours, while its year is much longer, 4,333 Earth days. It also has 53 known moons and is known for its great red spot. This red spot is a huge storm, twice the size of Earth, that has been going on for over 100 years. What a storm! What about Saturn? I know it has rings. Yes, it's the sixth planet from the Sun and is known for its thousands of rings, which are made up of chunks of ice and rock. Like Jupiter, Saturn is made up mostly of hydrogen and helium. It's not quite as large as Jupiter, but is still much larger than Earth. Nine Earths could fit across Saturn. Saturn rotates quickly. One Saturn day is about 10.7 hours, but one year on Saturn is 29 Earth years. These years are getting long. How about Uranus? I bet their year is very long too. It sure is. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun and is the farthest planet that can be seen with the naked eye. It's smaller than the other gas giants, but is still four times larger than Earth. Most of its mass is a hot, dense fluid of icy materials like water, methane, and ammonia around a small rocky core. Its atmosphere is hydrogen and helium. Uranus has 13 known rings and 27 known moons, but no spacecrafts have orbited it to study it in depth, so there's still a lot to learn about it. We do know that, like Venus, it rotates backwards. Not only that, but it does this on its side, so its rings go up and down, rather than horizontally like Saturn. If Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun, we only have one more to study. What do we know about Neptune? Neptune is the planet farthest from the Sun in our solar system. It's the only planet that cannot be seen with the naked eye. It's a very dark, cold, and windy planet. That does not sound like a comfortable place to be. Definitely not. The winds can reach speeds of up to 1,200 miles per hour. Compare that to Earth, where the most powerful only hit 250 miles per hour. One day on Neptune is 16 hours long, while one year is 165 Earth years. Neptune is very similar to Uranus. It's about the same size and is also made of icy materials, with an atmosphere of hydrogen, helium, and methane. It has six rings and 14 moons, but again, like Uranus, there's a lot we don't know about it since a spacecraft has not yet orbited it. 
similar to Mercury, it has a very elliptical orbit. Wow, all these planets are so different, but also have a lot of interesting things in common. They do. Despite all the differences, they all come together to form our solar system and are constantly revolving around the same sun. I can't wait to learn about other solar systems that are out there. Me too, bud. Scientists are working every day to learn more and more about distant solar systems. What do you think, scientists? Is there another solar system like ours out there?